78. Ooh, that's windy. I know. <laughs> it costs three. It's super cheap. It costs three dollars. Oh, pretty affordable. I know. You gotta put 50 cents okay. in there. You guys ready to go? Yeah. Ready to go. We're going in to pet and feed the stingrays. Water. Okay. Yeah. Alright. 
<laughs> what do you guys think of the stingrays? Cool. Cool. I like petting them. I like petting them more than feeding them. It's, it feels weird, like actually. When you feed them, yeah. Yeah, when they, when you, they like kind of feel like they're biting you. Yeah. It's like sucking up your fingers in a vacuum, kind of. <laughs> what do you think about petting them? Petting them is better than oh, feeding them. Yeah. It's kind of weird. Yeah, they're kind of soft and squishy feeling on the outside when you pet them, but then they're like really like suction on your hand, like so know, like yeah. no teeth, like biting your hand. <laughs> Feels like a, a grandma's It's like button. smooth, but no, very no suction. <laughs> very odd. <laughs> <laughs> All right. us around the entire seven acres situated along Houston's Buffalo Bayou. Along the way, we will learn about the downtown aquarium, as well as the importance of sharks and their role in the marine world. Be careful for sharks. We gotta be careful. Stay inside in case the sharks come. Oh, we need bread. Huh? I think we need any bread. There we go. There we go. The Buffalo Bayou rests just beside and behind our property. The historic Central Waterworks Building, just ahead, was built in the late 1800s. It was used to pump water from the bayou for Houston residents and for the fire stations to utilize. Over the next 100 years, as Houston grew, fresh water became apparent, and that became the end of the Waterworks Building. Now, it's home to 200,000 gallons of seawater. In the fall of 2017, Hurricane Harvey was an unprecedented storm that caused unforeseen damage to our shark tunnel and tanks. The life support systems and all electrical were destroyed. It was engulfed with 27 feet of water. If you look up to the building on your right, you'll see the marked bloodlines from the last two major flood events. Pretty amazing, right? Well, 
welcome to the historic Central Waterworks building. This turn of the century building is now home to 200,000 gallons of seawater. The tunnel in which we are located is approximately 70 feet long and the acrylic is over five inches thick, supporting more than 700 tons of water directly over your head. There are several different species of sharks swimming around us. The largest of the sharks that you see is the sand tiger shark. These sharks are 10 feet long and weigh over 200 pounds. They are found worldwide and are identifiable by their numerous rows of shark teeth. The most numerous sharks in our exhibit are brown sharks, which are frequently found off the coast of Galveston. The brown sharks that you see here are approximately five to seven feet in length and are the most aggressive feeders in the exhibit. It is a common misconception that sharks need to constantly move. However, you may notice some sharks resting on the bottom of the exhibit. They are nurse sharks and spend the majority of their time on the ocean floor. They can reach up to 10 feet in length and weigh over 200 pounds. The most unusual and rare animal located in the tank above you is the sawfish. It is a ray, not a shark, and can reach over 20 feet in length, weighing over 1,000 pounds. The sawfish uses its toothed saw to kill its prey. The large female sawfish you see actually survived Hurricane Harvey's flood. Due to her ability to live in lower oxygen environments and in both fresh and salt water, she was able to maintain until we could get the filtration reestablished. Now that is Houston strong. Sawfish are considered endangered internationally, and Landry's Incorporated is proud to be working on partnerships with Australian scientists to help save the sawfish. Have any of you heard about the great white shark that escaped from our shark tank during the last flood? Our scientific staff has searched the entire the Gulf Coast trying to recapture it. It was never found and some believe that it may still be in the Buffalo Bayou. So keep a lookout as we travel through the park. Say there might be a loose escaped great white shark in the area. Keep our eyes The downtown aquarium project was conceived in 2001 and took 18 months to build. Wow, look at this. It looks like the great white may have spent some time around here. Look at that boat hull. That's one big bite. Hey, everyone, we are approaching a bridge, so be careful not to fall out. Everyone, look out! It's the missing gray white! Is everyone okay? That was close. We need to call the aquarium staff to get over there and catch that monster. <laughs> Any volunteers? Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think so. Our educational programs give you an inside look at how we care for our magnificent animals here at the downtown aquarium. We are proud to partner with many wildlife and educational organizations that are focused on protecting our planet's wildlife. At this time, please step out of the train to your left. Leave enough walking space for the guests ahead of you. That's scared too. I feel like they're one degree away that it escaped, but but it really that wasn't really. <laughs> it was You're just, just tricking you. Look over here. So this is the bayou where the shark escapes. Buffalo Bayou. Yep. <laughs> Buffalo Bayou. Oh. What do you guys think about the shark chain? Cool. It's cool. It was scared of my eyes. 
It was it too scared scary. your eyeballs? Scared your what eyeballs? What was scary? What was the scariest part? It was the shark. It was the shark. shark. I didn't hear it. I didn't see any of it. It was really scary. It was just more intrigued. It was just more intrigued. It was just more intrigued. It was just more interesting. It was more interesting. She didn't want to trust it believed to be <laughs> don't want to go swimming in there they're saying like the area where the shark <laughs> tank was inside there was actually the old houston waterworks section where they used to get water for houston like way a long time ago and now we got fresh water we don't really, we don't need that anymore so fill it with sharks why were there sharks in there though they made it into a ride they repurposed the old building, is what they're saying. I want to see the see water. Like... No. Hopefully not. <laughs> Con, can you screaming sheep? Hopefully screaming not. sheep. Screaming <laughs> <laughs> Like screaming sharks. <laughs> water went up really high if that building flooded that high. Remember the marks on the building? Yep, so that means the water went really high. Wow, that's pretty crazy. It's like right up there. I think that's just shadows right now. No, that's Hard to tell. I swear that's not shadows. You swear? I don't know. Could be, I don't know. He's scratching though. probably covered this whole road right here. The marks in that other building. Gators in there. Could be the great white shark. Yeah. Snakes. Oh, Maybe you should just go. Yeah, just go. I was thinking about going for a swim. You guys want to go? Yeah. No. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
We have. But it's our first time doing the shark train at night, so it's pretty cool. Yeah. A little more, a little mystery. <laughs> I don't think Carter has ever done. This Carter's never done train. it. Yeah. yeah. I think that was his first shark train. You yeah, had the shark were. train before? Do yeah. you remember that? Yeah. yeah. You remember that? I don't know if Carter went before. We all. We were the only kids alive. This is garbage. <laughs> no, the grass sobbers all freaked out. Point over the What a beautiful evening, though, huh? Nice weather. Well, it's pretty nice cool. It's, you can come down to the bay, you're just like regular right here, but the aquarium's right there, so you can kind of just like pop right in, right off the bay. There's this trail on the bay that goes way down. I think I swear that is a great white shark. <laughs> <laughs> I saw a little white you know, thing. Oh, right there. Water. Like, I heard there's shark bites back no. here. It's definitely in there. They're walking there. I think this is the place. Think this is the place? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go back. <laughs> that was the scariest part. It jumped out right in front of what? No, I saw this little flicky fin light on his head. And it jumped out right what in front of him. What was the scariest part? No, it, it was this... It was a, <laughs> it just put like a little fin and then it dropped back down in the water. What did oh it jump goodness. out in front of though? It didn't jump! Oh, okay. You were saying your gorgeous eyes. <laughs> yeah, we were trying to get you on camera. Just a second ago she said, jumped in front of her gorgeous eyes. <laughs> 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 I thought I saw it in my gorgeous uh, <laughs> Still pretty funny. Cute girl. I mean, it's real. Did you guys have a it's great real. time at the aquarium? Yeah, it's real. It's wait, wait, real. Wait, I just I'm I think it's real. Oh, I get a bite shot. Oh my goodness. And that was exciting today. It was exciting. That was exciting today. Did you have a good time? Yep. Eat about the great white chalk that it was real. <laughs> <laughs> Not the fake animatronic one, the real one that nobody could to see. Oh, Not the train one, shark. the one that is now, the one that was in the, the deep, deep water that it was mm -hmm. not Definitely go back there.